Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this week's Raw review. We have got to talk about how Raw just finished um, because Seth is the new champion or appears to be the new champion. Uh, Steph's made the call. I really was expecting Shane to pick up a mic and reverse it or say something. He doesn't. The show finishes with Seth holding the title above his head. Um, it could be we're heading towards two champions, but that would make Battleground very, very messy. Uh, so I don't think they're going to do that. If it wasn't for Battleground, then 100% I reckon we would have uh, Seth as the champion of Raw and Dean as the champion of SmackDown. Um, but as I said, Battleground really throws a, a spanner in those works. Um, I, I don't know. We'll find out more tomorrow. Uh, maybe maybe the title's vacant. Uh, that would probably make more sense. Have a vacant belt and then the triple threat at Battleground. Whoever wins that is the champion going forward. Uh, there was no announcements about there being two world champions. Again, this might come tomorrow. Um, we did get a few answers though. And really the biggest surprise being that Mick Foley is the GM for um, Raw. Which I don't... I, I mean, I, I'm a Mick Foley fan. Um, and I've no problems with it, but it's just, it is a little weird um, because I don't see how he works with Steph. Steph is a heel, Mick Foley is a face, and oh, I don't know, I just, it, doesn't, it doesn't quite work for me uh, or at the moment. I'm sure they'll find their feet, but Daniel Bryan was announced as, uh, was fully expected as the SmackDown GM. I think that's a brilliant move. Um, I'm probably more intrigued by SmackDown after what I've seen tonight. Although saying that, it was also announced that the Cruiserweight division will return um, and it will be exclusive to Raw. So I think that's a very, very interesting development. Um, does that change or influence some of the NXT stars that get called up? Are they going to be looking at smaller competitors? You know, he's someone like Austin Aries, maybe a little more in the picture now than he was before. Um, you'd have to think Bala, you'd have to think Samoa Joe, you'd have to think Bailey. Um, but there's so many guys they could call up, and girls. You know, I mean, Nia Jax, Asuka, Alexa Bliss, American Alpha, Revival, Nakamura, Bala, Aries. You know, the list goes on and on and on. Um, so I'm just wondering if that Cruiserweight announcement is going to change a few things. Um, there was a few other rules that were announced as well. It's been announced that um, for every two picks that SmackDown has, Raw will have three because it's a, an hour longer. Um, they've also announced that tag teams come as one unit unless specified by the GM or commissioner that they're not interested in the other partner. They, that that is going to happen. There's no point having that rule and then not using it. So there's definitely going to be a, a tag team split. Um, you know, they were kind of teasing about the Wyatts, um, but don't know, don't know. I don't think they will split Enzo and Big Cass. That's got to be too soon. Um, you know, otherwise Battleground will be their kind of last match as a partnership. But I think they, they need to stay together. They need to just get a bit more exposure. I mean, in all fairness, when they came out today, they felt like a massive deal, huge deal. The place was like absolutely rocking. And I, norm I know it normally is for those guys, but they are in a big match now. They are on the big stage in the big match on a pay-per-view. This is This is the dance. Um, so they really need to show what they've got. And I thought that Enzo came out and smashed it out of the park, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, back to those rules anyway about tomorrow's draft. So uh, six picks from NXT is the final rule. Um, so it is it is mouth-watering, absolutely mouth-watering. Darren Young came out um, and had a match against Alberto Del Rio. He's got new music. It's fantastic to see Bob Backlund again on Raw. Proper marking out for these guys. I really am. Um, so uh, he picks up the victory as well. It was a bit of a screwy victory. You know, the Miz getting involved and distracting and whatnot. But that's a big win for Darren Young over Alberto Del Rio. Um, and as I say, Bob Backlund, I just think he's doing some fantastic work. Um, backstage segment uh, between Brian and Steph was really off and in fact there was quite a few 
kind of talking promo segments that were a little bit off but this one it was live and you could tell they were a little bit you know didn't know who was going to talk and like some of the stuff they were saying just was a bit wider than mark it was like um i think uh steph was referring to uh daniel as like chucky and uh daniel was saying well that's better than goat face and it just felt it just felt off it just didn't feel like it had a purpose or that it was leading anywhere so yeah i wasn't massively into that um i wasn't massively into the 12 man tag match either uh, i thought it was long really long overly long um but the promos before were fantastic as i said you know enzo smashed it out of the park you know he was saying that he did um he does judge books by covers because he hasn't got time to be reading books um <laughs> which I thought was great. And uh, he was saying about that uh, AJ Styles has got uh, soccer mom hair. Um, the list went on and on. Uh, he, he ripped through the whole of the club. Um, and, you know, the New Day came out and they did their bit. Xavier Woods uh, was, like, going through all the Pokemon and teasing that he was going to shout out all 150 original ones. Um, it, was, it was really, really good promo stuff. Um, and the, but the match itself was just a little bit long other than that we had Sami Zayn and Cesaro going up against Owens and Jericho in a in a match that I'm just kind of overseeing you know combinations and variations of these guys facing each other has, has just been the story of this year really um, so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to the brand split so I don't have to kind of see these guys go at it anymore um, and also we had a uh, Seth promo in an empty arena, which I thought was really smart. Uh, made a joke online about the fact that it looked like a Roman Reigns appreciation night because it's just em you know thousands of empty seats everywhere. But it was different, and I liked it. Um, and it gave like the main event the the big fight feel. That well, I mean, it had it anyway. But you know, every little helps. Um, uh, Luchas announced that they're splitting, going their separate ways, still friends and everything, but they want to be singles competitors for the brand split. Uh, Becky and Sasha took on Charlotte and Dana uh, in a very forgettable match. Uh, you know, women just are not getting chance to shine. You know, this this women's revolution just it's it's stalled again. Um, you know, the, the women should be getting like two segments, two matches, not just a one match tag thing that's completely forgettable you know and at the end of it i was just waiting because they were beating up on sasha just waiting for bailey's music to hit and never did so frustrating um surely she's got to turn up at uh battleground um maybe maybe yeah maybe she turns up at battleground which means that she doesn't get drafted tomorrow <sighs> we'll have to see um Ryder and uh, Dolph Ziggler against uh, Rusev and Sheamus. Again, forgettable. Not, I'm not into that Rusev uh, Ryder feud at all. Uh, Foley, Brian backstage um, was okay. There was there was lots of little moments. The Ascension as well cut a promo backstage where they were talking about pitch and put. <sighs> the Ascension being a comedy act just does not work. Then the main event that we've spoken about, uh, really good main event, built nicely, um, action, you know, inside and out, close to false. Didn't really get why, uh, like, Shane was cheering for Ambrose and Steph was cheering for Seth because they haven't selected anybody yet. So it's not as if they were representing their relevant brands, but um, I don't know, that's, that's kind of the way it was going. Uh, the match itself was great. And Raw overall was really strong. It was very much a go-home show for Battleground. Every five minutes you had Michael Cole saying, uh, draft brand extension, draft brand extension, draft brand... I'll close my eyes and I'm going to hear it in my head. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's all about tomorrow. It's all about the draft. Um, and so uh, I'll have videos galore for that. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter as well at Wrestling Days UK and on Facebook. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel... Uh, it'd be brilliant if you did. I really would appreciate it. It's, um, well, tomorrow. <laughs> God, you know, I don't want to miss out on everything that's going to be happening. Um, and I think that's everything. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed Raw. Um, I hope you enjoy SmackDown and the draft as well. I hope you join me for that. Um, and yeah, hopefully see you again next time. Bye for now.